So first of all, I wanted to talk about the Green Homes Grant. So this is provided by central government. Uh, it, the funding is, uh, and it's funding to support the retrofit of homes. So Wandsworth has secured funding to deliver energy efficiency and low carbon heating for 120 homes across the borough. This is different, and I really need to stress this, this is different from the Green Homes Grant voucher scheme, which is run by central government. And you might have heard about that. There's been some publicity recently around it, about how it's in trouble and stuff like that. Um, our scheme is separate from that. We already have the funding. We have it all set up. So um, it's different and we think it is um, better as well. Uh, so uh, I'll just talk a bit more about what we're doing with that scheme. So what's our offer? You can get up to £10,000 worth of improvements for your home if you meet the criteria. So that's £10,000 for those uh, that are own occupiers and for those that are in private rented accommodation or for private landlords, uh, then it's £5,000 and there needs to be a contribution from the landlord. The scheme is targeted at those with lower incomes and in lower energy efficient properties. Um, and these households may need help with affordable warmth. So it could be that uh, the home is very energy efficient, uh, energy inefficient, sorry, and therefore it requires more energy to heat the home and therefore it makes it expensive. If you're already on low income, it can be then difficult to afford to heat your home. Um, so the improvements made will make your home warmer and also reduce your energy bills and it will also reduce your carbon emissions. Uh, so the eligibility criteria, these are set by um, central government and so we have, it's a kind of condition of our funding that, that all the people going through the scheme need to fulfill this. So you need to be either an own occupier or in private rented accommodation. The household income must be under £30,000 per year. The property must have an EPC rating, that's an energy performance certificate rating of D, E, F or G. And you, this is really important. You need to be willing to have the work done to your property. Um, it, it will involve some people coming around to have a look at the property to double check everything and, and suggest improvements and also you are going to need to have work done on your property to make those improvements so you need to be willing to do that as well um, okay so what can you have installed uh, there's lots and lots of things and this is uh, one of the advantages that we have with our scheme compared to the voucher scheme is that we can do a lot more with it um, than the voucher one um, so you can have insulation put in so external wall insulation internal wall roof insulation under floor uh, insulation or combination of any of those uh, you can also have air source heat pumps so this uses electricity to transfer heat from one place to another and to heat water um, it's kind of like a fridge in reverse um, you can also have double glazing. Uh, this reduces heat loss and cuts drafts and also solar PV. So this uh, is photovoltaic panels. Um, so it's the panels that you solar panels you see on roofs and this produces electricity for your home. Uh, heating controls. This can be really important so you can better control the temperature of your home and use less energy. And I think Toby's going to talk a bit more about that. Um, and also solar thermal, which provides hot water heated by the sun. One thing I do need to note is that you can't have your gas boiler replaced by a new gas boiler using this scheme. So the idea behind this is, uh, is around energy efficiency and reducing people's bills, but it's also about reducing carbon emissions. And so uh, the funding isn't intended to be used to replace one fossil fuel energy source with another fossil fuel energy source. And so you can't have a gas boiler replaced by another gas boiler. So what happens if you apply to the scheme? So first of all, we need to check you're eligible. We need to check your EPC rating. We need to check that you your income is below £30,000. And then our delivery partner will carry out a free home assessment and discuss your options. They'll then arrange the delivery of the works with Trustmark contractors and check the work. So Trustmark contractors are those that um, are have gone through the Trustmark accreditation process, which means there's stuff around, um, they're using the correct equipment, uh, they are working in a sustainable way, and also around customer service as well. So you know that that's a marker of quality that, that you're getting. And then we'll pay for the work because we have the funding from the government to do this. Uh, and this makes it much, much easier for you to get the improvements that you want done to your home. And also I just want to, to let you know that we know you may have worries about COVID. Um, obviously uh, that that's, a concern that many, many, many people have. So all work is going to be done in a way to minimise the risk. So our delivery partner has uh, an, a, an active risk assessment that they carry out as before they go to the property and then as they are working at the property, they kind of do a, a, 
uh, a dynamic risk assessment is called. So they, they will be assessing what's happening as they're doing the work and making sure that you're safe and also they're safe as, as workers as well. So just want to reassure you about that. So if you want to apply for funding, we've already sent out letters to some people, I say some, we've contacted over a thousand people um, with letters and, and a leaflet with it as well, illustrating what what you can do with the scheme. Um, and that's been contact, that's been directed at those that we think might be eligible. Um, but if you haven't had a letter, that's fine. Get in touch with us if you are interested and you think you might be eligible. So you can email us at greenhomesgrant at wandsworth.gov.uk or you can go to wandsworth.gov.uk forward slash GHG. And we have a member of staff who's working on the Greenhomes Grant and is available to answer questions you might have as well.